Good afternoon. This is November the 8th, 2022, and I have a word that the Lord released to me today and uh, with this morning, and um, it's kind of lengthy. And before I share it, I want to uh, say that I'm, I'm going to read the whole word, even what he has spoken to me. And because I'm going to do that, um, I want to be able to share as the Lord releases things into my life that he has promised to release to me, um, that our faith is built together. I think that it's important that people see the movement of God and when he releases and blesses his uh, children. And so as he blesses me and releases these things into my life, I will share uh, those things with you that we all have an understanding of, uh, even with the wealth transfer, of how he releases things in our lives, in his timing. And so I'm going to go forth and go ahead on and read this word that he gave me uh, this morning. He says, yes, my daughter, I'm about to release to you all that you have asked of me. I want you to understand my ability in releasing things to my people and how I am able to do so. Watch and see as I move to release all things before you. I desire good things for all of my people. I desire to give them their heart's desires. I have all that's needed for those who are trusting me and are committed wholly to me. I have set some time out for you to go forward and release over my people blessings and how I want them whole to completion. I desire for many to come into position and go forward I'm in my power and authority. I have set in stone before the foundations of the earth what I have established for my people, for those who love me. Continue to speak into the atmosphere, healing and deliverance. Continue to pray for many of my people to hear my voice in this hour about commit, committing them, committing their hearts wholly to me. It is out of commitment that I'm able to move in power over their lives to completion. I am the source and all things comes by me. I have the ability to move and release all that's needed for my people. I only ask of them to totally com to total commitment. My ways are straight and full of life. I'm able to see them to see them through to completion. I'm always looking and watching. I see all things. I'm not asleep. I'm the God that know all. Continue to stay in prayer as always about all things I have given you to cover. As I release to you information of the coming disasters, I want you focused to release in prayer all that I will give you to speak. I'm coming to remove obstacles from many of my people so that they are able to function in their callings as I position them for service. There's no time for complaining, only service. I'm coming quickly to recover many out of bondage, many into areas of freedom to overcome obstacles that have hindered my people. Allow me to show you how I need prayers coming forth over these situations. Commit in prayer to receive instructions about these things that is all that is all for now. Go forward. And you see how um, in this in this season and in the in the times that we're in now how the Lord is speaking to his prophets and how he is releasing instructions and information in prayer because we have uh, our mandate in prayer is to understand that everything that he releases from the heavens comes through our commitment to pray intercession um, and so I have shared uh, many times before about my uh, videos being 
about prayer. And uh, you see that there's things that in the word that he gave me, uh, things that we need to pray about. And I ask that you would go back and listen to those key words and write those things down that we're able to pray over these areas that he's asking us to pray about. Um, he's uh, There's some things that's getting ready to, to come about here in the near future. I see there's other storms that's coming on the East Coast. And he's given me uh, back in July the things that will start to happen with the flooding and the uh, torrential rains. Um, some of the things that he's shared with me in July, that video that I did in July, um, hasn't happened yet. Um, so as we look at the storms and the, th the uh, uh, torrential rains and flooding, we'll see more disasters coming. And I had also asked in videos before to pray over those people that will lose everything. We saw in Florida that uh, there were people that committed suicide because they lost everything. Well, the Lord had shared with me, and I can't remember which video it, it was. I don't know if it was the one in, in July or in August. But he shared with me about praying over those to uh, that he could cover them and the enemy would not tempt them to take their own lives because they lost everything. And so I'm sharing this again, that we cover people in prayer uh, that will be hit by these storms. And they will continue to come as time moves forward. But that we need to be aware of what the Lord is doing. He uses these storms also to bring about change for his people. And so when the enemy uses things to destroy, God will also use those things to recover, to heal, and to deliver. And so I'm just sharing every word that he's spoken uh, today to me, even what he's spoken about me personally, that we uh, can see how he blesses our lives and how he moves. Um, he says that I'm Father God, that he's all-powerful, I'm omnipotent, I'm not present. And he spoke in this in this word that says that I see all. He says I'm I'm not blind. <laughs> I see all things. And so I'm just asking and praying that um, all of my listeners will be in prayer with me. Um, as I'm praying over my listeners, I'm praying for those that's on my channel uh, as well. And I'm also in prayer about the things that is in the heart of God. And so as we continue to move forward uh, every day, my prayer is that we commit ourselves in prayer and wait on the Holy uh, Spirit to speak to us and that we stay focused on the things that God has put before us. And as you know, as always, I'm, all, I'm so thankful uh, for uh, you on this channel. I'm thankful for the listeners because it's important that we are laboring in prayer and that we know what to pray. It's not about just praying. It's what we're praying. It's what we're, what's moving in the atmosphere as we pray. What is being thwarted uh, by the plan of the enemy that God can move and recover and heal and deliver and that he's bringing in all those that are lost that will hear his voice to salvation. This is prayer. We're praying the heart of God, those things that he's doing in the earth. And as he moves in and out of the atmosphere across nations of his people, that he's able to do all that he wills to do. But we have to do our part, be committed in prayer every day, as many times a day as it comes to our heart to pray. And so as always, I ask that you like subscribe and even uh, do the notification bell share these videos there's many people that need to also hear through me what the voice of God is revealing in this hour that we're all focused in prayer and praying on one accord there's power in prayer I've seen God do things in prayer uh, this year that has stunned me and he is not he, he has just begun he's just begun this awesome movement 
that he is showing his power and his authority in the earth. And so um, I'm going to close. I didn't want to be on here long. Uh, but once again, I ask that you like, share, and subscribe. And hit the notification bell. Hey, that's all for now.